Hey guys, how are you? This video is gonna be super, super exciting because it's a huge haul. I went to Gem Beauty and I got a few things from there that I bought, some I got for free. And then I also went to Sephora and got like two things. So I have a lot to show you. I'm gonna just go through it really quick, as quick as I can, because if not, we're gonna be here forever. Anyway, just in case, go get some popcorn or wine or something because you're gonna be here for at least I think half an hour let's pray it's not that long but I think it's gonna be if you're new to my channel my name is Jordana just in case you're not subscribed I'm gonna leave a link right here or if not I'm gonna leave it down below in the description box and I'm gonna leave every product that I mentioned today on there I haven't tried anything that's why I needed to do this haul because I need to start playing with my new stuff I can do swatches on this video or something just to show you. I'll give you an update in the upcoming videos of what I think about everything I got. And um, I think that's it. So if you wanna see what I got at Gem Beauty and if you wanna see what I got at Sephora, just keep on watching. First purchase I did, it was at Loxy. I love the bag, so I don't think I'm gonna throw it away. So from Luxie, I got a few things that I'm super excited about. Two face brushes, they're so soft. This is the Luxie 520 Taper Face and the Luxie 502. Also, when you were in line, you could send a text. They would give you a highlighter brush for free. So I got the Luxie 522 highlighter brush. Super soft and I think I would love to have another one just for the under eye as a replacement or just to switch up the 02 by Wayne Goss. On my uh, goodie bag that they gave me, I got the Loxy 231 a Small Taper Blending. Also bought the new Essential Eye Set number two. It comes with, I think it's five brushes. So these are the brushes and I can't wait to play with them. Another thing that I got on my goodie bag was the Moda Gem Beauty Exclusive Pro Makeup Brushes, Highlight and Glow, Triad Concealer, which is the pink one, and then the eye shader, which is the blue one. And they also gave us a small eye shader, which is a good brush too. And the last brush that I got, I also got it in a line. It was the crown brush. It's an angle liner brush. You can never have too many brushes. Since it was an Ipsy event, they would give you like an Ipsy bag when you went through a line. And I chose this one. It says brows before bows. And I think it's super, super cute. It's great for traveling and it's also great to put in your purse. And it's lilac. I love pink lilac, pastel -y stuff. From Eve Cosmetics, I got the superhero one that everyone is talking about, like it's a new one. Lash Changing Power Brush wraps every lash from base to tips for super volume, super length, super elastic stretch. Then from Josie Marin, I got the Josie Marin Argan Black Oil Mascara. This is a full size one, it's the Este Edit, the edgiest up and out double mascara. Oh, it has like a lift and a volume size, big scent four in one mascara. I've never tried anything from Pure, so I'm excited to try that. And from them also, I got the Big Look Mascara with Argan Oil. But the ones that I'm the most excited about, the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I just adore this mascara. I can buy it forever, over and over, and I will never get tired of it. So it's always good to have another one, and it's a deluxe size, which is a good thing. And then the Roller Lash is supposed to give you an extra curl, and it's not supposed to let your natural lashes be like straight or down. So I'm really excited to try it. I've heard a lot of good things. Benefit always kills it with the packaging. Like This is super, super cute. And here I have the rest of the goodie bag and some things I purchased. From It Cosmetics, I got the Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I'm dying to try this because Kathleen Light swears by this. Love that they give you like a deluxe size. Another product I got that I don't know if I'm dying to try it, to be honest, but maybe it will be good. It's the Lovely Little Liners by Pop Beauty and they look super cute. They're small, you like a nude, a darker nude, a silver, and I guess two blacks or something. I don't know, maybe they will work. I'll update you guys on everything. From Milani, I got the Estee Put Matte Milani Matte Liner, like a green eyeliner. And I'm dying to try this because Milani that I tried the foundation is the one that I'm wearing today, the concealer two-in-one foundation. So, so, so good. Maybe everything Milani is gonna be amazing, but the foundation is on another level. So I wanna try this and see if it's gonna 
make the brand name even more awesome more or less awesome from Ardell I got the Adore lashes in Olivia and then I also got the Wispies, which I love because you guys know that these are my favorite, the Wispies and the Demi Wispies. From Josie Marin, I also got like, you went into the line and then they told you to choose like smells and moods or whatever. And I remember I chose the mango one. It was a handmade mask. I'm gonna put this on today with my husband and see if we love it and I'll let you guys know, but it's a good brand and it's healthy for your skin. I don't know if you guys saw that I did a Josie Marin first impressions of the Vibrancy Foundation and I loved it. It was a surprise for me because I thought it was gonna be super, super dewy at a point that I couldn't wear it because I was gonna get super oily, but it held up pretty good through the entire day. And I like the formula. I don't know why I'm so, so stupid in a way that I don't wanna try argan oil for a foundation. I have to get used to that idea, but to be honest, Josie Marin has amazing products. For Hourglass, I got a little disappointed because you go through the line and then I was trying to see if I would get the stick foundation. They didn't give you any discounts for it. You go to a place like that and to a, an event like that and you're supposed to have a good discount. They didn't. What they gave us was this. Like, are you kidding me? From the brand Be Fine Food Skincare. This is the Pore Refining Treatment Scrub. A single serve, it says. It's good because it's natural, paraben free, vegetarian, allergen free. I'll let you guys know if I like it. And it's skincare, so that's always good to try. From Pixie, they gave us this Pixie by Petra Beauty Bronzer plus a Kabuki brush, which I think it's really nice. And I have a Pixie bronzer that I'm actually running out of, but maybe it's the same one and I already love it. On the goodie bag, you also got like a Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This seems like a decent size if you wanna try it. But I love this to travel. Always good to put on your kit too if you're a makeup artist. But I'll try it and let you guys know. And Cover FX is an amazing brand i love their drops the hydrating ones the foundation ones so i ran out of my cover fx drops i had them in g50 and they were giving an amazing discount because these are like 40 bucks each and they were selling them at 25 which is great so i got the g50 again on the goodie bag from crown we got a, like a brow blade so this is gonna be helpful just to remove hairs on your brows that you don't want also from me cosmetics we got the waterproof lip liner stain and it's a small size but it's also good to put in your purse and the color i think it's a lot like my 3c from makeup forever from next i got the ombre lip duo it's supposed to be a lipstick that's lighter in one side and darker in the other one so you can create an ombre lip i think it's a cool concept this is red and the other one i think it's really pink i would love to do a look with this too also from the este edit they had the pore banishing stick this is the full size it's huge so the este edit hit it out of the park with what they gave because they get a full size mascara or banishing stick and I think we got something else from there. Yeah, the radiance activator. This is a small size, but come on, you're already giving two full size. So that's probably gonna be worth it. And they're from Estee Lauder, so that brand is just amazing. I love the foundation. Okay, so from Ofra, you got a free lipstick and I asked for the color Pasadena. I don't have any Ofra lipsticks and I was waiting to get the highlighters, but they were gonna be there for the second day, so I couldn't get them. And I have already a lot of lipsticks and I'm in a love and hate relationship with liquid lipsticks right now because I think my lips look extra, extra dry when I wear them like right now i'm gonna just show you this one see if i love the formula enough to get more liquid lipsticks from ofra because everyone raves about them another lippy that i got was from the brand absolute new york and it says it's a velvet lippy buttery matte lip cream so maybe like a liquid lipstick and the color looks amazing on the tube okay it's pretty similar to the ofra one i don't know on the lips but swatching it it's pretty similar Oh, I love the smell of this one even more and the color is something out of my comfort zone because that's not the type of lippy that I wear but I would like to try it from NYX I also got the Bright Idea Illuminating Stick 
They seem like really dark for me, but it looks nice. You just have to try it and it's good because I'm trying to do more drugstore affordable products on my face for tutorials and everything. So maybe this will be something that I would love. It's something else that I got on my goodie bag was the Marc Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco Sulfate Free Conditioner infused with keratin. So it's a decent size. I'm going to put it on my shower and then maybe you'll see it on my favorite. Doesn't smell like anything, but Marc Anthony is supposed to be a great brand and from a skin fix i got a gift and they made you choose i love cleansers and i'm trying to change my purity cleanser because i'm obsessed with it i always buy the big bottles and i never let myself run out of it so i want to try different things to see if i can switch it up maybe this will change my mind and it's a foaming oil cleanser which sounds really interesting because i've been wanting to try an oil cleanser for my face for a long time so yeah i'll let you guys know if this works Okay, so you guys know that Benefit has always had this product, the Gimme Brow, and I have it. I'm already running out of it, and I was saying that I wanted to buy a dupe for it, and they changed the packaging on every brow product. This is so, so cute. Like, everything is like magician stuff, and this is so pretty. At the Milani counter, you will get a lippy. So they have liquid lipsticks. I haven't tried them, but I have high hopes for them because I've heard people talking about them. And I got the shade, the 11 Precious. This is the color. Oh my God, this is really, really creamy. It's even creamier than these two brands right here. The smell is really good too. From Laneige or Linage or I don't know how you pronounce it, but I, I think I heard either Kathleen or Tati talking about this brand. This is the water sleeping mask. I love masks, so I want to try this and then I'll let you guys know. This is supposed to be an overnight revitalizing gel mask infused with orange flower, rose, and sandalwood from Bare Minerals and it's a prime time foundation primer. I've heard everyone talking about it. It's a pretty decent size and it's also great for traveling. It's the original color, which I don't know if it's the yellow one. No, it's the clear one. But this is supposed to be an awesome primer and I can't wait to try it. From them, I also got the Bare Pro foundation, the full size in that event. That foundation, awesome and bare minerals giving you a full size foundation and a really huge uh primer something that i already cheated and tried and i love it i haven't heard of this brand before i'm not gonna butcher the name it says primatic blush in douche douchey and they give you like this tiny blush that's supposed to be for a palette because he has like magnets this blush you guys I had to put it down just because I didn't want to finish it. I've been using that for two weeks straight, but I've been loving this blush. It, it has a lot of fallout when you put the brush on it. It's super soft, but the pigmentation is on point. It blends amazingly. It seems like a really great blush and I'm blush obsessed. Okay, so another brand that surprised me, I didn't know this brand, it's called Me. I love the packaging, super sleek, and I love the black and white. Their Instagram is so pretty, and the lipstick looks so pretty too. It would give you a full-size lipstick. Can you see how pretty this lipstick is? I don't know if you can tell, but it has like the M, and this is the nude shade, of course, and it's like an orangey, apricotty nude. I love this, and it seems to be super soft. I'm definitely gonna use this lipstick a lot because it's the perfect shade for me. I think one of the best places to go energy-wise was the Too Faced counter. They were like trying out this concealer, the Born This Way, and they would swatch it either on your under eye if you didn't have any makeup or on your neck, and they would give you a full-size Too Faced concealer, which everyone raves about. So I really want to try this. I haven't yet, and I want to see if I love it, but it looks really nice and light, and it's supposed to be like the Born This Way foundation, and I love that. It's supposed to be infused with coconut water. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll do like a competition between my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and other concealers that I've been getting lately. From Jouer, I know that everyone talks about this brand. I don't know why I'm not obsessed with them. I have to be in love with packaging. I don't know why, but Jouer packaging doesn't say anything to me. I love that it's it's super cool that they have like the little stripes that you can put everything together from them, eyeshadows, bronzers, everything, and it will make uh, just one palette. 
out of them and i thought it was super cool that they gave us like full size blush and highlight cream highlight and blush so i chose this highlight it's, it's called seashell and it's like a pink oh that's pretty nice and it matches my dress actually i got for a blush honeysuckle which is, yeah this is like my thing right here so i'm gonna swatch it right here oh that's a pretty color yeah i actually like it we're almost finishing i just had to take off my liquid lipstick and put a little bit of lip gloss on top because my lips were dying but i have a few more things to show you i went to tarte and tarte was amazing so for free from them on the line you would get a tarte mascara so it's another one and it's a full size in the color black and it looks stunning i love the tarte liner so i know i'm gonna enjoy this and the packaging black and gold like screaming my name i also got on the goodie bag the sculptor contouring face pencil it says contour like a pro in park avenue princess number two i'm gonna swatch it right here they were also selling the shape tape concealer they didn't have it in the shade that i wanted but the medium shade was good for me too because i use ginger and custard on the nars one the doe food applicator is huge on this one but this one i'm gonna give it a go and then compare with the Too Faced one and the nars one and the nyx hd and do a concealer smackdown slash favorites another thing that i had to purchase because i'm running out is my tarte eyeliner and it's this one they had it for 15 dollars i think and it, this is a 24 dollar eyeliner and it comes with a brush i had to snatch it because i know i'm gonna run out of the other one and i'm gonna buy it so why not buy it with a discount and then lastly at tarte <sighs> i had to get this because i had to it's the tarte in bloom i haven't tried the tarte one everyone seems to love it so i swatched them and i fell in love with it right away so you see that it's super super pigmented and the sparkly shades that it has they're so pretty i love the color of the eyeshadows they're so everyday and the packaging is so pretty i also have to show you that i got the key and desi perkin high key sunglasses i got the rose gold ones but they're in my car and i got the green blue ones and i'm obsessed these are so awesome the and desi perkins did an amazing job with these designs i don't know if she actually designed them but if she did girl you need to work with them often because this is this is giving me life and yeah that's all i got at gem beauty to this event and to sephora i went with my friend jamie she loves makeup you should follow her i'm gonna leave her instagram one place here or down below she has the same obsession that i have with makeup and you guys are gonna love her because she's so beautiful blonde american different from me but so 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 pretty she's also always buying new things and trying them out and putting them on her instagram she doesn't have a youtube channel not yet but she loves makeup and if you love makeup you can follow her and enjoy her face. from sephora i got the tattoo liner by kat von d this is so so good but you can see here this is perfection here they came out with this one that i saw and i had to get because he had the huda beauty lashes and he had like three full size things or four i don't know but it's a great value to begin with it's amazing because it would be great great for christmas or a birthday present or something but i got it for me because i love me too much the huda beauty lashes in samantha they look really pretty and i've never tried huda beauty lashes so it's a good way to try them and these are 20 dollars retail i also got the midnight cowboy eyeliner but this is also 20 dollars and it's a full size so just here you have 40 dollars and this was 42 so almost everything else you get for free and then you get the nars dual intensity eyeshadow full size too in the color himalaya that it's even prettier than the tarte ones you also get a caviar stick eye color in the color plum and this blend like a dream stay put this is amazing to do like a smoky eye you get a full size 24 hour photo finish primer eyeshadow primer which it has to be at least 20 dollars so worth it even if you got three things 
you're already getting $20 extra worth of product. And I also got from them here the waterproof Sephora black eyeliner, and I've used this before. I bought the full size before. I don't know why I forgot about it, but this is an amazing black eyeliner, and it's way cheaper. I think the full size is 12. And you also get from Milk, which I've been dying to try products from them, an eye pigment. And, oh, it's sealed, and I don't want to open it, but, okay, I will. I will open it. I will. A dark pigment. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Brown ochre sparkles. And it's a small size, but who's gonna run out of it? I'm not. The only product that I wasn't excited about is the Marc Jacob Omega Lash, because I've had it before. Nothing special. So in conclusion, go buy the Extravagant Eyes. It's worth every penny. Just for the NARS eyeshadow and the lashes, it's <clears throat> everything you need in life. And you also get the glitter for Christmas, which is amazing because it's gonna be a holiday-ish kind of glitter. You won't regret purchasing that set. Yeah, guys, that was it for my huge, huge haul between Gem Beauty and Sephora. I hope you enjoyed this. I love watching these kinds of videos and I know it was super, super long, but there was a lot to talk about. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see a first impression on some of the products or if you wanna see dedicated review on one of the products that you really like or something. Whatever you wanna know about these products, let me know in the comments down below. I'm probably gonna do a extravagant eyes tutorial with that set so that you can see it in real life and then i'm also going to use the gem beauty products on a first impressions video but if you want to see something specific let me know down below also let me know what you like to buy what videos you like to watch and i was wondering if you guys i was just watching ready set glamour and she just posted a video doing a challenge it's called the full face using only paint brushes and i haven't done just the use your fingers challenge which i think i'm gonna do in spanish i don't know yet but i wanted to know if you guys would like to see something like this the full face using paint brushes because i think that would be really fun and i would love to do that i think it would be super hard but it would be better than the just fingers challenge. That was it guys, so I hope to see you on my next English or Spanish video. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and also subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get a notification and you won't miss out on anything. Also follow me on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. I always post different content there, and on my Instagram I'm doing a fashion blog before my website releases, so just go there and check it out and you'll see different content. And whatever you want to see next, just let me know. I hope to see you soon, guys. Bye. <laughs> I'm not let, I'm artist. Uh, what's my artist concealer? Oh my god.